he but did it's back to getting to yep. the fuck shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And by that, I want to be. No, I don't want to say that. And by that, <laughs> I think we're gonna Maybe touch well. on some <laughs> some 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 things that stereotype us, racist shit, maybe even sexist shit, but we're not going to get canceled because we're going to apply it to ourselves. So I'm going to start with (laughs) the perks of, okay? This is our the perks of segment. I don't know what y'all know about yourself, but I know the perks of being black and traveling on public transportation is that people don't want to sit next to you. (laughs) So in most cases, when I'm commuting home... (laughs) Oh my God. Unless it's like peak hours, I will have an empty row of seats strictly because I'm black. Now that is a perk you can't buy if you're white. Oh my God. No, my friend you- my friend said that as well. Um she tweeted about that when she was at the airport that she always like had room because of that. And so like it's not just a me thing. Hey, no, no, no. I see what you're okay, saying. Okay, okay, all right. Yeah, this is one of the perks of being black. Like, when I'm on the Long Island Railroad or even on the subway, if you ever lived in New York City or traveled on the subway, you know those things get really, really packed unless mm-hmm. you're black. Yeah, all right? that's a great point. Now, now, unless they are forced to sit next to you, you will never, unless another black person. Other black people, we feel comfortable, you know, like, actually, it's a safe space that we create for other black people on public transportation. But if you are of any other ethnicity race um yeah you got just open seats when you're black wait so i'm realizing in real time am i that annoying person because like for if you're a black person and you relate to save on and you're secretly hoping like yo i hope no one sits next to me like on this train on this because i want this road to myself like you're secretly like like glad that no one's sitting next to you then here my happy ass comes because <laughs> I love I don't I love black people and I love every race so I will sit next to you so am I annoying for doing that now? <laughs> mm. Am I annoying? Are you the problem? So no, should I stop you... doing that? All right, <laughs> so we're gonna be real here. We are gonna be real. It's Patreon. It wouldn't be annoying because like you're cute, so it's like <laughs> all right, she cute. So fuck Honestly. it, she could. Yeah, yeah like, if I see if I see a black girl or a black guy sitting on the train and there's like a seat there. I'm just going to yeah. sit next to them. <laughs> like- yeah. But now if there is an older Karen and she just sits next to me, I'm like this, like you could have sat a crow. Like you didn't have to sit here, but if there's somebody <laughs> who's like, who seems like they're cool. And that's also like a real vibe check, right? Like yeah. outside of just the physical appearance it's like, Oh, if you feel comfortable in sitting here where you could say anywhere else, Oh, like you feel comfortable in my presence because that's really what it comes down to. They yeah. just give us free seats because they're uncomfortable with our blackness on the train. So yeah, that's one of the perks of being black. Yeah, like, like that's just, yeah. Life. I don't feel but uncomfortable. If there are other, yeah, but if there are yeah. other seats here on this bus or train, <laughs> please don't do sit next to your, Do not bring your raggedy ass next okay, to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look around in the bus or the train and go, "Wow, plethora of seats here." What do I? What, what do I? What do I look like? Do I look safe? That is, that is true. That is annoying when I, I when someone shit. sits right next to me and there's like so many other seats. That is that is a little annoying. Yeah. You could have gone anywhere. You had one job. All right. Perks of being black. I see where Savon is taking this. Well, black people don't get much perks. So this is actually a great conversation to kind of highlight the things that work for us in a sense. <laughs> um, when you hit the basketball court, they automatically default to you. They think you're Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> you get on the basketball court they go oh shit he's gonna drop 40 and they automatically just start feeding you like yo come on kevin durant come on lebron oh my goodness <laughs> so, so you just you get a lot of opportunities on the basketball court man they just assume that you're ready to go so if it was like a a group of let's say you just really <laughs> wanted to play basketball that day you went by yourself and yeah. it was a group of it was mixed race like like it was white people other Some people Anglo Saxons okay so but then if they pick you based on the stereotype Alex are yeah. you showing them that they were right and dropping forty or are you going to be purposely petty like yeah you shouldn't have picked me just because I'm black and then you suck throughout the game I'm, which which way are doing it I'm Kobe Bryant I ain't passing okay. the ball <laughs> oh okay that's a good that's a perfect answer actually yeah <laughs> yeah I'm Kobe Bryant now I ain't passing the ball I want to be Kobe right <laughs> you Kobe right that's how they okay I'm Kobe. No pass. <laughs> no, nah, they, they look at you and say James Harden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Okay, that was they good. They look at you. They look at you and say James Harden. James Harden, that's you, right? <laughs> yeah, it's me. J Mo, we in the J-Mo. club, nigga. Oh Maybe my god. Too. I saw a picture of James Harden without his beard, and I literally am yeah. petrified. I'm actually very happy that I'm not ugly without my beard. I actually have a picture of that shit. <gasps> I've never seen him without his beard. Me either. Wait, are I've you about to show us that. or no? Oh, wait, yeah. only his high school picture. Yeah. That he... Honestly, that's the last time I kind of had... didn't have a beard. Yeah. Hold on. Yo, I'm almost there, Alec. No, we you're see there. you. We see you. We see no, you. No, you're there. I'm all, yo, I'm almost. No, you're I there. just need. I just need the goatee, bro. I've gonna, been fighting 30 I, years. I ain't going to lie, though. You must be eating some cat. Your shit got strong. No, no, no. Your shit got strong. Look at your boy. Model. It's him. Wait, oh, that's you. Good. It's him. <laughs> that's you. Model. That should be our cover art. <laughs> Model. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo. Alex with no beard. <laughs> nah, said, please bring it back for the 30th, bro. Just come in naked. Just come in. Like no, like face naked, bro. That's say, Vaughn, you getting excited? You want? You know what I meant? Bro. Yo, that episode will shave. go crazy. <laughs> Come in, shave. Uh, uh, you know Reggie? what we'll do? Yeah. We'll pay you with your money from the Need to Know account. We'll give you like how much you want. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're business owners. Save all must be responsible. <laughs> Reggie, for sure. What are, What are some um perks? <laughs> so a big perk of mine, yeah, being Asian. Is that people will automatically res- respect the no shoes in the house rule? Mm. This is true. Automatically. Because, like, they think it's an Asian thing. Mm. <laughs> I never thought about really? that. Really? Do they think that's derived in Asian culture? Uh, people always say, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just really? uh, biased because I am Asian, so I hear it a lot. Like, oh, <laughs> um, it's an Asian household. Make sure you take your shoes off. Like, I thought that was a big stereotype. Maybe not. I don't know. But okay. I just truly. I'm sorry. I just don't understand it. The shoes in the house. I don't get it. Like you're outside. Can someone explain this to me, please? In the comments or something like, is it an American thing? I don't know. Like, because you're walking around all day in the city, like Mm -hmm. you're stepping on dog poop, spit, and then you come in your house and you're just walking all over the house with that. I'm sorry. I don't understand. But I feel like when I say it, people don't contest it at all. It's like, okay, she's Asian. We got to take our shoes off. (laughs) I think this just derives in I'm about to kill your joke, so sorry. Be prepared. <laughs> Black people didn't have time to think about that shit growing up. Like, niggas was just trying to get home. Bro, 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 bro. I, I, like, <laughs> I grew up in some pretty dicey situations. My black ass was taught to just get home. No, okay, And once you got you're... in the home, it wasn't like we just weren't even thinking oh. of that. And I'm not saying this right. I agree today. I don't wear my shoes in the house. But <laughs> back growing up, nobody ever looked at me and said, take your shoes off at the door because we was just surviving. But it's like you could have a dicey situation and come home and like take your shoes off. <laughs> like that's not asking nah. much. Yo, please, please, please. I, I, was, I was more so trying to take the chicken out the freezer i was more concerned with making sure like my brain wasn't we i don't know i think it, I, it may be a cultural thing that's what i'm saying yeah, nah. i think it i think i, it I think it is a cultural thing because for us it's like absolutely not you're not walking around my house with dirty shoes like no i don't know what about outside clothes i'm the same way with that way with that thing outside clothes on the oh my bed. god i developed I'm that over the years mm. but you used to like there was a time in your life where you would just go to sleep in your outside clothes no, not go to sleep, but I just wasn't mindful. I wasn't conscious of it. Oh, okay. You get what I'm saying? Like you I wasn't thinking con- about it. Yeah, I gotta understand, and, and maybe this will get to like the next thing that I'm grateful for. But like growing up or being raised by like teenagers, you kind of miss some things. Okay. <laughs> so Fly. one of the perks <laughs> of being a result of a teenage pregnancy is 